name is Tim Bills. I'm your tour guide today at Greaves Brewery. Um, just a quick background, Greaves Brewery, as we're interpreting it anyway, was from Geneva, New York in about 1803. Um, first, I want to talk to you about our beer. So this is our flagship beer over here. This is our Fat Ox Ale, which is very popular. Uh, Fat Ox Ale is a colonial style brown ale. Um, it also has uh, molasses added to it for a little extra colonial kick. The uh, colonials like their beer strong, so molasses adds extra sugar. Um, the second one, which we don't have a um, poster for in here, is called Stocking Hill Ale. Now, Stocking Hill Ale is going to be perfect for, maybe not for the weather right now because it's raining as we're shooting this, but perfect summer uh, American wheat beer uh, with ginger added to it. So um, now from here, I'm gonna go upstairs. So that's where the actual magic happens. All the work is done upstairs on our production floor. So here in Grease Brewery, this is where we start. This is our water source, which we pump water out of the basement. It goes into our brewing kettle over here. And this brewing kettle comes to us from the Genesee Brewery and will hold about 300 gallons of water. So that's the first ingredient in beer is water. Stage two is over here. This is our grain mill in here. This is malted barley. So we have about 240 pounds of malted barley that go into our mixture for fat ox ale, which I was describing downstairs. The next step is we're going to take our crushed grain and we're going to add it to our mash tun, which is here. Then we're going to mix the water, which we were heating over here, and the brewing kettle is going to mix in this. This vessel is called the mash tun. So the mashing process is where the water is going to absorb sugar out of the grain to create a sugar water, which is called wort. From here, we're going to drain it. You probably can't see it well from here, but we're going to drain it down below to the underback. And we're going to bring it back up with this pump over here. And we're going to reintroduce it to the brewing kettle where we're now going to boil it. Um, also at this stage is where hops are added. So we have hops. So if you come out here on Friday, you can see our hop fields out behind the brewery. Hops adds the bitter flavor for beer, also as a preservative. So once we've boiled, our next step actually is to transfer it over into these three boxes that are behind you. Uh, so these are the cooling trays. So this is where we're going to cool the boiled liquid over here down to a temperature where we can actually add yeast. So that's going to be plus or minus 70 degrees or so. So most of the time during the summer, it's going to be too warm to actually brew beer. Um, so most of your brewing is going to be done in the spring and in the fall. So once we're cool here, we can actually go back downstairs. So our next step, we're going to drain from upstairs in our cooling trays. It's going to come down through this trough right here into this vessel right here. This is what is called the working ton. Working ton is a reference to we're going to work in our wort. Now what happens is we're adding yeast. So this is our fermentation vessel, if you will, primary for fermenter by modern vernacular. Um, yeast is gonna work our wort. What that means is it's gonna consume the sugar that we collected over here in the mash tun. It's gonna be converted into alcohol and carbon dioxide here. So this is what we like to say, this is where the magic happens. This is where we'll have beer. So that's the process in a nutshell. So hopefully we'll see you Friday. Come on out. I'll be here. You should be here too.